Hello, my name is Christine Harvey and I'm curriculum leader for English and I'd like to talk to you about English language. There are a range of topics covered in um, both paper one and paper two. So paper one uses um, an extract from a literary text which is explorations in creative reading and writing and paper two uh, focuses on writings, viewpoints and perspectives and it's sort of structured so it follows on from paper one and is a little bit more difficult. And paper two uses two extracts from literary non-fiction texts and one is always a pre-cent 20th century text. But the skills and the type of topics that are covered are very similar in both papers and they sort of follow on from one paper to the next. So the topics that are covered basically are these how writers use language to get their ideas across um, how texts are structured that's in paper one to engage the reader so we asked students to deconstruct and think about how a writer is putting a text together and that's particularly useful when they come to look at their own writing and their creative writing and considering how they're putting a text together and then for paper two, we look at summary skills, very important for a range of other subjects as well, not just for English. So they're taught how to summarise a text and it's not just one text, but they summarise two texts and look at them and make comparisons between the two. And that uses summarising and synthesis um, skills. And then we have their critical thinking, which runs throughout both exam papers um, and developing their use of analysis of text throughout. And running all the way through this is acquiring and applying a wide vocabulary alongside a knowledge and understanding of grammatical terminology and linguistic conventions for reading and writing. And then the spoken language as well. And then we focus on creative writing, both narrative and descriptive on paper one. And then for paper two, we have writing a letter or a newspaper article. The course is assessed with two exams. Both exams are worth 50% of the final grade, um, reading and writing, and they are worth 80 marks each. And there is also the speaking endorsement, which the students have to have. Now it's a 0% weighting of the GCSE and it's marked via the teacher. But what's assessed is their presenting and students' ability to respond to questions and feedback and their use of sta um, standard English. And this is usually a presentation um, and it's where they're presenting sort of in, information and ideas and it's recorded and filmed and this is done in class and students can get a pass, a merit, a distinction and it shows up on their certificate. So this is really useful and really helpful, particularly for students to do well if they're thinking of going into um, medicine, um, they will need to get um, or consider the grades that they're doing for that and get as high a grade as possible um, and journalism. Lessons will be very active as you might expect from an English lesson. So students will be expected to participate in discussions where we are developing their critical thinking. There'll be opportunities, lots of opportunities for extended writing because as I've said they will be um, assessed by exams, there is no coursework for English language. So there'll be plenty of um, opportunities for exam practice questions. And then there is time in lessons, uh, quite a lot of time will be spent on improvement work to develop students' responses, where they'll be given targets. And then there'll be time for discussion to develop their critical thinking. And then creative writing will be developed where we'll be thinking about their vocabulary. Um, we don't use textbooks, 
We do use um, the visualiser for lessons where the teacher will be working from um, a poem or an extract on the board. Um, we use PowerPoints to get ideas across and all of these will be available on Google Classroom. English is a good subject to study because it is at the heart of every other subject. And having a good level of English will have a direct impact on all grades. So it's imperative. It's great at supporting your ability to analyse and develop your critical thinking skills. And that's one of your key skills, even in subjects, particularly important in subjects such as maths. And it can lead on to numerous careers. It's really important if you're going to have a career, say, in law or publishing. Uh, your spoken language and developing your speaking skills. Important if you're going to study medicine. Being able to read those texts as well. Teaching, computing going on to higher education, having your two qualifications in English language and English lit to get into sixth form. Numerous subjects. Your core subject GCSEs will follow you for every single job that you do. So having your English GCSE is one of the most important GCSEs to have.